Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many React developers encounter. Our viewer is looking to display an image selected from their computer in a web application. They've shared their HTML setup and are seeking guidance on how to show the chosen image without sending any data to a server. Let's dive into the details and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To display an image selected from your computer in a React application, we will use the File Reader API. First, let's set up our component structure. Next, we need to create a state variable to hold the image data. We'll use the useState hook for this purpose. Now let's add an event handler for the file input. This function will read the selected file and update our state with the image data. Finally, we will render the selected image in the target IMG tag. We will conditionally render the image based on whether it exists in our state. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To display an image selected from a file input in React, you can use hooks. First, create a state to hold the image and a reference for the image element. Next, implement a custom hook that handles the image upload. This hook will read the file and set the image source. In your main component, use this hook and set up an input field. When a file is selected, call the uploader function to display the image. This approach allows you to reuse the custom hook throughout your application making it efficient and modular. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To display an image selected from an input file in React, Start by creating a form with an input of type file. Use the onChange event to handle image selection. In the onImageChange function, use FileReader to read the selected image and update the state with the image preview. Finally, in the SubmitForm function, Create a form data object to send the image to your server using Axios. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.